175 years ago, the Swiss began to realize how important comprehensive and detailed maps were for their nation. They employed the topographer, bridge engineer and army general Guillaume-Henri Dufour to head the new Swiss Federal Office of Topography. Dufour became a Swiss legend as a general during the Sonderbund War, a civil war that took place in Switzerland in 1847 for preventing Catholic and Protestant regions from falling apart. However, his achievements as a mapmaker are just as impressive. Dufour had by völlig heterogenen föderalistischen Verhältnissen. His maps gave uniformity to a country that was still under construction. This was a great cultural achievement. Und das war eine großartige kulturelle Leistung. As a young man, Dufour served in the French army in the early 19th century. In those days, France was the leading nation for cartography, so Dufour gathered lots of know-how. He applied this expertise in Switzerland. First, he laid a technical grid over the entire country, a triangulation network. This grid connected the regions north of the Alps with the south for the first time. Erstmals die Gebiete nördlich der Alpen mit den Gebieten südlich der Alpen verband. Because there was no aerial photography available, Gathering map data was no easy task for Dufour and his collaborators. After surveying the land on foot, they worked the data they had gathered into a hand-drawn map, like this one from 1840. This original drawing was then used as a master template for copper plate engraving. After Dufour, a new generation of maps took over in the 1870s, the Siegfried maps. Those were produced on a much more detailed scale. And there were other improvements too. Sie sehen hier im Kartenbild, dass das Gelände nicht mehr mit Schraffen dargestellt ist. Here you see that the terrain was no longer drawn with hatchard lines, but in the modern way with contour lines. This was a consequence of demands from engineers and railways, which in the 1870s increasingly needed maps for construction. Das auch für Ingenieurprojekte wie Eisenbahnlinien in den 1870er Jahren gebraucht wurde. Eventually, gathering map data became easier when aeroplanes were used to photograph the land. In 1935, the Siegfried map was replaced by the national map, which is still produced and regularly updated today. Diese Karte hat noch einen Vorteil mehr gegenüber. One advantage over the Siegfried map is that the terrain is now enhanced with a color showing light and shadows. The light comes from the northwest. This is a psychological effect. If it came from the south, you would see everything the other way round. The hills would appear as valleys, and valleys would appear to be mountain ranges. Die Täler wären Höhenzüge. Since Dufour's time, Swiss maps have been receiving international recognition for their high quality. And the Swiss Federal Office of Topography, Swiss Topo, has had several assignments from foreign institutions. Like this one from 1988, to make a map of Mount Everest for the National Geographic Society. Now in its 175th year, Swiss Topo is making the old maps available to the public again. It recently launched a sophisticated online tool which not only allows travelling across areas, but also back in time. To make this possible, all the old maps had to be scanned and precisely adjusted. There are two main challenges. First, you have to prepare all the data. We had to assemble around 8,000 maps. The second challenge was to provide the necessary bandwidth. The tool is great for observing how the landscape and population in an area changed over the decades. It shows how the Alech glacier is continuously shrinking. Or the old villages in the region of Marmorera in Graubünden, before they were drowned under an artificial lake in 1954. Sometimes the maps also depict the political climate, such as in this example from the time of the Cold War. C'est la région de Vimis. In 1938, the region of Vimis had an explosives factory. In 1984, it disappeared from the maps, most likely for military reasons. When I look at the area in 2010, we see that the factory is back. In fact, it was always there, but only taken off the map in 1984. 
The Time Journey tool is already online, but for the moment only goes back 75 years. Swiss Topo's goal is to have all maps from the last 175 years available in the tool by summer.